Well, I don't know if you realize this yet, but you will soon because government grant scammers are going to start making a lot of money off of you. And they have. That's why they're good at this. They're better than you and I will ever be at this. And they're going to get 300 bucks, $500, 1000 you know, from you. But even by pretending, not only that they know how to get you a grant or that you have a grant, or they even pretend they're from the government themselves. Now, here's a, I get a lot of this stuff on my YouTube site uh, where people, you know, in the discussion, what they'll do is they'll say, hey, oh, you're looking for a grant. You know, hey, I know a guy who knows how to do this or 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 this. Here, here's one. This guy pretends he's from SBA himself. Like A few people responded to me. This is a, 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 a Lesco help member. And she says a few people and she said she was she had trouble getting her SBA money. You know, and she got some, but she was trying to get more and that's trouble. And so she was um, making it known on, on the uh, uh, YouTube channel uh, under the discussion, you know, on the comment session. So he said a few people responded to me uh, about some people to contact for possible assistance. I contacted one of them. That's the bad. Anybody tells you to contact or they want to contact you in the discussion? No. Okay. I contact one of them. SBA officer, Derek McCoy. <laughs> uh, I'd like to show you a bit of his response here below because it feels real sketchy to me. Well, I told her, you know, this is terrible. <laughs> but Derek McCoy said, uh, I just went through the backlogs and found your application. It seems your application got caught up in a systematic error. That's why you were denied. I suggest you reboot on your application to clear all the unseen flags and reactivate your op application, thereby placing you on reconsideration. Now, all that nonsense there. After you do that, you should be approved and funded within a maximum of two weeks. Is that okay? <laughs> SBA uh, Derek McCoy then said, I must inform you that it will cost you $1,000 to run the reboot on both the applications. Once payment is confirmed, work will begin immediately. Payment is accepted by uh, Zelle, Z-E-L-L, -L, you know that payment place, uh, and Bitcoin, another <laughs> tip off, whichever is more convenient for you. The payment is to a loan officer in charge of the reboot. I can also teach you how to use Bitcoin. You should pay me extra, though. <laughs> uh, I asked him, will he guarantee to receive? Will, will I be guaranteed to receive the loan? His response, yes, you're guaranteed of your approval and funding. And I will also keep you updated on the daily progress of your application. He also sent, this is the screenshot, supposedly of the application log inside the SBA. <laughs> I could also see that he was using an incognito window on what appeared to be the SBA website. D does any of this sound legit to you? I, just terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Look at the things they do and say. I mean, nobody... Oh, you just just ignore anybody who says they're going to charge you money to get free money. If it's more, I mean, I say that because I charge you twenty dollars. But look, they want a thousand dollars, and this happens over and over again. Anywhere that says, you know, particularly in my work, when you you're looking at some of my stuff, the people in the comments, you know, anywhere that I'm I'm there. People will say that they even snuck into uh, our closed Facebook group as a member saying they help. And they're not. They're done. I don't, you know, they, like I say, they're better than me. They're better than you. They know how to do this better than every. And they keep doing it. Why? Because they're making money. People will stop doing it if they're making money. <laughs> when I used to buy advertising and people say, oh, I see Oliver. Are you making money? Right, if you see the advertising, you know I'm making money. <laughs> I'm not going to put it, do stuff that I'm not making money. And, and it's the same as this. They're, they're doing it and doing it more. People are in desperate need. They'll believe everything, anything because they are desperate. They, and that's what they play on. They play on your desperation uh, of needing that money. 
That's why another one, I, I only charge $20. People say, oh, I should charge hundreds or thousands. No, people need money. I, you know, they should save all your money for you and, and use the free sources of money. And all the government nonprofit organizations do not charge you. So the real grants, the real money out there, the government will never contact you to ask you to apply, you know, unless you're already a member or something like that, like the SBA did this last time uh, because you already got money from them. So they suggest that if you want to apply more and they never charge you, see, that's it. So nothing, anybody who's going to charge you, they're obviously a scam. And the problem is a lot of times you won't know they're going to charge you till they hook, get the hook and better and deeper and you can't get off the, the, the hook. <laughs> yeah. So anybody who's going to, who anywhere in particular, the holidays, you're more vulnerable, you need money and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just ignore it. Anything that sounds good. I mean, I sound good too, but it takes work, <laughs> but none of my stuff will ever charge you money. And that's why every website I give will never charge you money. That's why some people, are, oh, look at this company is doing this deal or anything. No, they're doing a deal because they want your name. <laughs> and then they're going to charge you something. That's why what I do is make sure that every website we give, like as a member of Let's Go Help, we give hundreds and hundreds of websites. Every one of those websites uh, that we give you are legitimate. They give out money to people. Whether you get it or not depends on it you know, you and them, but they will never charge you money. Okay. So never charge you money. So beware of scams in the holidays. Uh, anything to do with government money. I don't know about all these other scams too. There's a hell of a lot of them. Uh, just try to ignore them. I know it's hard not to. Um, and some of these people are so good. <laughs> They're so good. Look at, they even showed the inside workings of the SBA computer. Now it probably wasn't, but it made you believe that and you wouldn't know the difference. I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what happened. So don't be scammed. <laughs> <laughs> please, you can't afford it. You know, maybe you can, fine, you want to give scammers some money, but no, it just encourages bad behavior. <laughs> so don't do that because they only do it if they get another sucker and then that encourages them to do more. So please don't be a sucker, be a sucky. <laughs>